Alright guys, welcome to my Sims Next Top Model series. Now, we have 14, con 14 contestants and our host, which is, who you're looking at right here, this is Ali Zero. Now before I get into anything, I start off with saying that this episode is going to be a lot different than the rest of them. Mainly because right now, my game is being super glitchy and this is the best it has run since I've got everything set up for it. And yeah, so as I said that, it went back to being itself. Like, you guys see this delay on how long it takes it to light up after I put my cursor on it? Yeah. So I'm not going to be doing what I would normally do. But normally, what will happen is that we'll start the day. We will maybe run through one full day of just them interacting with each other. And then we will have our talent contest at the, that night. Have one more day of them interacting with each other. And then, at the end of that day, we will be having the fashion contest. And honestly, this is just my own take on, some, on you know, next top model stuff. This isn't, you know, I, I honestly don't watch the show personally. I just thought it would be something fun to do in the game. But this time, instead of doing the talent showcase and having the day of them running through with each other, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce all of them. I will try to let the game play, and I'll just fast forward through time so the day can go by a little faster just so I, we can see how they move. And then that night, and then this night on Sunday, we will be heading out to do our fashion contest, and I will tell you all what that is later in the episode. But for now, let's go through who, the, who all the characters are. As I said, this right here is our host, Alia Zero. She is a world-renowned model and even has her own fashion line. Some of the consumers include Octavia Moon and Judith Ward. Next up, we have- oh no, I really hope this goes a lot better. Next up, we have Pearl. Oh no. Pearl is ambitious, squeamish, and an insider with all the clubs. Her goal in life is to become the best chef in the world. Next, we have Yui, which I cannot find. Oh, there she is. Next, we have Yui, this one right here. Yui describes herself as acquisitive, a perfectionist, and romantic. Her goal in life is to date around until she can find Mr. Right. Next, we have, geez, it's so hard to see what girls I'm choosing. I think this is, yes. Next, we have Yumiko. Her friends describe her as a cat lover, a leisurely woman, and a bit messy. Her dream in life is to know a bit about everything. Next, we have Nicolite, which would be this one right here. She is described as family-oriented, very attractive, and a girl who isn't afraid to get real friendly with others if y'all, you know, catch my drift. Her goal in life is to make as many friends, quote-unquote, as possible. And then, we have Lauren. Lauren is very feminine, family-oriented, and self-loving. Her goal in life is to one day live a leisurely life on the beach. Let's see? Sorry, most is just me searching them because I cannot see these images very well. Oh. Well. Next, we have Hannah. She is a romantic, highbrow, and a quick learner whose dream in life is to know everything she can about computers. Next, we have Bria. Bria's friends describe her as a bro who's secretly a geek and very creative, and her goal in life is to go to as many parties as she can and live her life to the fullest. Up 
up next we have Shannon. Shannon is described as carefree, beguiling, and a self-assured woman. Her dream and dreams of one day living in her own mansion, which well, she kind of is now. Next, we have Tammy. So slow. Tammy describes herself as gregarious and a good person and very, very self-confident. Almost too self-confident if you ask Alia, but she one day dreams of leading a popular club. Next, we have, where is she? Uh, I'm sorry, most of it is just me looking for the person, because I, there we go. Next is Mylan. Mylan, sorry. She loves books and the outdoors and keeping her house squeaky clean. She only wishes to find her soulmate and live happily ever after. Okay, next we have Serenity. Serenity is a vegetarian who loves cats and, describe, and her friends describe her as a good person. Her goal in life is to help and befriend as many animals as she can. Next, we have Rosalind. Rosalind is described as a loner who will do describe herself as a loner who will do anything to get material possessions she wants. We ask her friends to con we ask her for friends to contact to learn more about her, but she claimed to have no friends and be a loner. Her goal in life is to be the ultimate prankster. Next we have Shawnee. She loves the outdoors. Her friends describe her as a good person and a child of the islands. Her goal is to live a leisurely life on the beach until it is time to join her ancestors in the great unknown. I'm sorry I'm pausing so much when I like spin around to them. I'm trying to make sure I it's good. <laughs> but finally, our last contestant is Aspen. At least I hope I didn't miss any. <laughs> she seems to be a mix of the last three girls I just described. She loves the outdoors, just like Shawnee does, as a vegetarian, just like Serenity, and a loner, like Rosalind. Her goal in life, however, is to be an outdoor enthusiast. Now, a couple things I want to mention myself, and while I'm doing this, I can go ahead and... Oh, geez. I can try to hit play on this and see if I can get any of this to actually function, and I'll just hit fast forward. I hit fast forward, it did not, okay, there we go. But a couple things I want to note on. Uh, this house that, or this mansion that I have them all in, in right now was not created by me. This was created by Wolvenum, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're a creator on, you know, Origin and on uh, The Sims Resource. This is their mansion, the only thing I did was redecorate a couple of the rooms. What is happening? How did I get money? Twerk skill acquired. Oh, okay. Well. That's interesting. But this mansion is not mine. Like, full credit goes to them. I just redesigned some rooms so it would fit the bedroom situation. Which reminds me, we have to do that this episode. Figure out who's rooming with who. And another thing is that I only made five of these girls. The host I made along with Serenity, Aspen, Rosalind, and um, Rosalind, Serenity, Aspen, and Shawnee, and Elliot. Those are the only ones I made that, like, I myself. The others were created by other people. I will put down in the description who created who. So all credit goes to them for the other ten girls that are on here. And I'm very thankful for them for giving me them girls. Wow. 
Now that that's settled, I think one thing that we need to do is go ahead and get the bedroom situation figured out. So right now all the bedrooms are double except for two, which would be the one that Alia is staying in since she is the host, which will be this one right here. And then the one that the butler that I hired will be staying in, which is this one right here, which the butler is in currently. So the first room we're going to have up for grabs will be this one right here. And how I'm going to do this is I'm not going to pick favorites or anything. I'm just going to type in a randomizer. And we're just going to pull out the names. So this means that right now I am going to have to probably... Uh, Cut back for a little bit while I try to get the randomizer out. Oh, actually, no, I could literally just Google this. Number between 1 and 10, we have... No, we have 14 girls. Okay, number between 1 and 14, where are the girls' position? So this will be 1, this will be 14. She does not count because she is the host. So, for the first room, we are going to have... Oh, it looks like we are going to have, jeez, she's actually going to get the first room, Bria. So she shall get claim of the very first bed. Up next, we have, okay, not very random so far, but up next we have Anna, Tana, I honestly don't know how to say her name. She's one of the ones that I did not make. She shall get the next bed. Let's see, I believe up next is this room. Well, even if it wasn't, it isn't now. <laughs> up next shall be this room, which will be six. So it's like it'll be Shawnee. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Nicolite, if I can click on her. Jeez, this is really bad. Did I even get her to claim that bed? I don't think I did. So much is happening and this will get better once you know my, my computer does not handle big lots along with cc very well not to mention my household is also above the maximum number so my game is just running really slow right now but it should get better okay next i don't okay yeah the next bedroom is upstairs so up next will be this bedroom right here and this one it looks like we have Yumiko all right so speaking play on this along with one two three four on, along with Lauren. And then we'll have the last room with double beds in it. It'll be this one right here. It looks like for this one, we are going to have Aspen. And oh, okay, so we're gonna have Serenity here as well. Ne Whoop, what happened? Okay, <laughs> next will be this room right here. 
And for that one, we are going to have... You, did I give Huey a bed yet? Oh god, I can't remember who I gave a bed. Oh, it's gonna be Huey's now. I guess when I go back and edit this, I'll figure it out. And who is this? Tammy? Oh, and Tammy gets this room as well. God, it's not good that I'm forgetting who has a room and who doesn't. Next will be this room right here. Which it looks like it will be going to... Oh, I don't remember who has a room and who doesn't. There's four of them, I know that. Four of them do not have a room. I just don't remember which four. Okay, well, you know what? I'll just go back and rewatch this and figure out who doesn't have- I know- okay, I know that she doesn't have a room yet. So she- so she's gonna go there. That's all I remember. That's all I remember, and that's, that's really sad. Alright, well. It is now 8.20pm in the game. And... That means it is time for our first contest. First con Why are they wearing the same exact outfit? Oh, she's snubbing her, isn't she? That's why. Okay, well, that that's great. Please stop. Please just go back to your not regular- Oh no. I don't know how to make her go back to her regular clothes. I've I've never- had this issue before. Oh well, doesn't matter, we're leaving soon anyways. So, first contest, which I think suits us very well. It's the first night, so obviously we're going to be having a party. But not like, you know, a big college party. Just a nice, elegant party. Which means, the first one is going to be not necessarily ball gowns, but like a party gown. Or ball gowns. But we're not going to be doing it here. I really hope I can travel with my household. I've never tried this before. I should probably save before what? I'm gonna try to save this before I go to the lot. So that way, in case my game crashes, I didn't lose everything that by everything I mean assigning the beds, which I even forgot what I did there. So, wouldn't really be missing out on much. We're going to be going to one of the community lots to have our little party. I know there will be other people there, but this is just so my game can hopefully run a little bit smoother since we won't be on this lot. And also, to again, see how they interact with the public. Because if you're gonna be on this show, you're obviously trying to become a model and be famous. And if you wanna do that, you gotta know how to interact with the public. Because, you know, rude celebrities are rude. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I don't know if it's gonna save. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm kind of scared now. You know, you know what's sad? I was playing Sims 3 earlier. Sims 3 ran smoother than this right here. It honestly did. That That's sad. But my computer also sucks because I built it myself and I have not upgraded it at all since I've gotten it, which I really need to. But you know, oh well. Okay, guys. It, oh, it saved. I, 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 oh. I'm so happy. I honestly thought that the game was just going to crash and I was like, shit. I made a bad decision. Okay, so now we're going to travel. Invite up to sub. Crap. <laughs> Fine, it's okay. We'll just teleport them to us. That'll work. Okay, so just teleport them to us. It's easy. Oh. Hmm, actually, what we could do 
and instead of teleporting them, we could just have two separate events where these girls go out this night and the next night these girls go out. Or just later that night they go out. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take this group out, and then next we're going to take this group out. Okay, come on, let's go. Travel, please. Oh, it, it's running a lot smoother, though. I don't know what caused it to run smoother suddenly. What are you doing? Stop. Travel. Like I said. <sighs> this game is so buggy. Okay, so where would we go for a ball esque situation? We could go to the Von Haunt estate. Hmm. In fact, I think that's where we're gonna go is the Von Haunt estate. So, like I said earlier, this is going to be the ball gown, party gown-esque... Wait, what was what was sort of looking for? Contest. And how you're going to judge it is you... Now, I'm not going to be judging this. This is going to be you guys judging this, so I really hope this gets at least some viewers to it. Oh, Jesus, there's a ghost. But there's going to be at least some viewers to this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my group one right here. So I'm going to have them show. I guess I'm going to have them have their own limit, like voting process. I'm going to post it on my Twitter. I'll put my Twitter in the com in the description. You guys can go to go to my Twitter page and vote out of here which one you want to go home. And then we'll do the same for the other group. And that way, well, it'll come down to two girls. To go home and then I will make the ultimate decision of which one goes. Well kind of. I probably won't make the ultimate decision. I'll probably ask some of my personal friends to help me make a decision. But you do you guys come down to the last two. You guys can see the results and at the beginning of the next episode I will show who is going to be getting sent home. Okay, guys, as I said, this is going to be a formal attire party, which is just kind of like a meet and greet. We have our host here setting the standards, which probably aren't very good standards. I'm not the best at making sims or buildings. But we have our host right here, ready for the party, and soon everybody will start filing in. Hopefully. I don't know, I'm probably going to tell them all to come in individually would be my guess because none of them are going to just come in on their own because why would they? That would be too easy. Why'd she go right back to where she was standing? But first up we have Tammy. She's immediately going to talk to the host, or at least she was. Oh, and everybody just piled in right here. Okay, well, we have Yui right here. In Serenity. I'm not really sure where everybody else is. Where is Pearl? Pearl is all the way out here for some reason. Let's see. Johnny rocking some oh, what's it called? Sulani attire. Oh. She's finally coming inside. I need to make her happy, because if not, she's just going to complain the entire time. Same with her. Oh, they're immediately talking to each other. Now, this is kind of funny, because these were actually created by the same person. So it almost sounds like... Or, 
My guess is that they would be making an alliance right now. And of course these ones are asleep. Can I just make the whole household's needs happy? Like, do I have to do each and every individual one? I think I do. I don't have a mailbox. Well, that sucks. But right here we have, have Aspen, who, you know, goes against the majority. Not wearing a dress. I appreciate it. No, you're not going to sleep. I should have done this before I left, but I didn't think about it. But no, Rosalind actually fits in very well here with the atmosphere. Because, you know, Von Haunt State, Haunted. She just seems to fit it very well. Gosh. Why are they all just going to nap? Like... They're not even that tired. Seriously? Stop. Okay, that's it. Everybody, go right here. Get inside. I am so tired of this. I just want you guys to socialize. So, again, we're going to speed things up a little bit. See if any of them talk to each other. Oh, okay. So again, Shawnee is immediately going in for the suck up. And I don't know who ran away, but somebody ran away. I think it was Aspen. It was Aspen. And Yui. She, she's just <laughs> blocking his camera. Tammy is the homegirl. She saved me from the paparazzi. Okay. This is going pretty good, though. You know, it just seems like Tammy is distracting paparazzi from me, which I appreciate. Shawnee is sucking up to me, which... Hmm, respectable. Yui is just not even caring. Same... What? Same with these three. Well, these three are actually kind of socialized with each other. So they're forming bonds, but Yumi's just out here. Okay, but I think it's about time for these ones to be sent home. I, you know, I've gotten an idea of them. I've given y'all my idea of what I thought of them as well. We've seen all their outfits, so I think it's time to bring in the second group. So remember, this one would be group one. I'll be posting it on Twitter of which ones you guys want to, which one you want to be set home. And then second group will be posted probably about the same time as well. So let's go ahead and get these girls out of here. Okay, the next, the second group of girls should now be coming. And my host walked away. Oh wow, they all just like instantly piled in. Okay. So, we have Bria, we have it close Shannon, a door, <laughs> we have Mylan, Hana, we have Lauren coming in hot, and Nicolette, who's, I love the princess vibe, not gonna lie. And was that the whole group? No, I think someone is missing. Who's missing? It's Yumiko. And then we have Yumiko. Why does my girl keep running away? Stop. Come here. Let them socialize with you. We have to get a gauge of their personality now. Oh. Okay. It looks like Anna pulled us aside.
Their answer. Bria, are you really flirting? <laughs> I love the uh, how this dress moves. It's so funny. But it seems good though. This group seems to be a lot more sociable. They actually seem to get along a lot more. They're not really talking, they're just kind of staring at each other, which is kind of- Oh, it's because they're waiting to talk to me. I'm still talking to Tana, and Yumiko is taking the attraction of the paparazzi. For some reason. I think she's just blocking it, honestly. Oh, she's waiting to talk to her. Okay, and... I don't even know where half these people are going. Where is she going? She's going to play chess. Seriously, okay, I'm kind of annoyed with this lot now just because they all keep going to play chess. They're dressing up the whole bathroom. I love her dress, it's so funny. Like, it is really cute, it's just so funny how it works. I don't know, I like hers. Hers is a lot more ball, but also a lot more modern. You know, Mylan, a lot more casual, you know. It's still very, you know, formal, but also shows that she's at a party. But also, you know, doesn't seem like something over the top. It's just, it's, it's really nice. And t no, go. And Tana, hers is just sexy. I love it. It's great. I, I love everything about it. Hers, I love the off-the-shoulder look. Great, the glitter. It looks, it suits her very well. Hers? It seems a little more, you know, wedding gown-esque. But, I still like it because it can also go as a ball gown. It very much goes as a ball gown still. And then if she would, you know, stop standing right there. I cannot get a good angle on her. Just because she- Yumiko, move! You are in the way. Just move. Leave. Please. Anything. Thank you. And I like hers too. Hers seems- No. Oh. Hers just seems very casual, laid back, but also still sexy. I think that's all of them that I touched on now. I don't think- oh, no, I didn't. Nick- what is she doing? Wait. She's playing the piano. And everybody is coming out here now. Okay, what is happening to her sh Okay, ignoring the feet. I love hers. It it's just, it's a very, it's just so elegant and formal. Like, I love the hair, the tiara, and, you know, it seems like she's overdoing it, but really, it just goes so well together. I love it. And she's getting everybody over to her with playing the piano. For everybody, <gasps> she's even got Alia's attention. Okay. I see. That's interesting. I think we're going to have a very tough decision coming up. But for now, I think it's gonna have to be it. We're gonna have to send everybody else home just because our girl needs some time alone to think of who looked the best and who needs to go home. So, and I'm sorry, this toy is speaking in the background. My puppy wants to play. So I actually do need to end the episode to go play with him. We'll get a bit. But thank y'all so much for watching. And the vote, the poll will be posted on Twitter as soon as the episode is uploaded. I'm going to be posting it for y'all to be voting.
Be sure to, to do that for both groups. And I will see y'all next episode with the conclude with the decision of who is being sent home on the first day of Sims Next Top Model. Bye. Babe, why? <laughs> why do you do the squeak? Huh? Why do you do the squeak? <laughs>